We say, okay, brilliant. All right, all right. They're coming welcome, in. Guys, okay. Welcome, guys. My name is Gediminas, and we've got Fitz here as well. We're brilliant. about to rock your world. Let me check if we are cooking on gas. Yep, yep. and electric. All working. We've got sound both on Facebook and here on Zoom. Welcome, 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 guys. Brilliant. Nice to see you. How are you, my brother? You know what? I'm absolutely fantastic. Um, Gerdas. Thank you so much for coming on this, on this Zoom, on this Facebook Live. I wanted just to get everybody on here. This is not just for my team. It's for all the teams. We've got people here from Qatar, from UK. Ghana, South Africa, important that, you know, we come together in a spirit of unity during these difficult times and let the people know that, hey, we're in trouble. What? The world is still turning. We're still here. <laughs> we're still alive. We're still in a new month. I just wanted to jump oh, on sure. there. But before I start and we get into deeper stuff, I just wanted to say, guys, I know it's been difficult. It's been a challenge. And when this thing hit, I must admit, even me, Mr. Vot Motivate, my knees were wobbling. After me, <laughs> I was like olive oil, you know, olive oil and Popeye. My knees were just wobbling. And, you know, I think the business just wobbled as well. And I think many people's businesses took a hit. But, you know, once we got over that and everyone realized that, hang on, the world is not stopping. The world is still turning. Um, people are still going on as best as they can uh, with, their, with, their, with their activities, whether they're at home or if they're key worker in the workplace, that, hey, I've got to keep my promise. I said, I'll keep my light on. And I said, yes, I've got to be back. I've got to keep my light on. And I'm so, so happy. So many of you have been watching your posts. You've kept your light on. In times when people have been worried about their jobs, in times when people are worried that they can't even get sufficient products or have enough money at the end of the month, we are here to help and show them what we have. And you kept your light on. And I want us to say a big clap. I'm going to give a big clap to all the key workers and not just the key worker and NHS staff, all the teachers, the cleaners at the hospital, the ones who've got vulnerable adults, that all of you are at home. Some of you aren't used to being at home. Me and Geda, so many of us, we're used to <laughs> working from home. But some of you, it may be new, it may be difficult, it may be frustrating. But I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for all your support, the love you're giving us. And, you know, we take a moment out also as well for those who are bereaved. We think about them. But we are here. We need to keep our lights on. For those who are here, we need to show our love and support. So I said a big thank you. I clap my hands. You can clap your hands. Absolutely. Your team has done well. End of the day, your team are pushing it out in numbers. I see it online. Your team are working. They're pushing out the numbers. Every single point is important. So thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of you out there. And we may have some new prospects on here. We may have people not in FM. You're more than welcome. This love and positivity is for everybody. So I'm so glad we're here today. I'm going to be doing many more lives and Zooms for everybody because we need it. We need some love. Sure. Don't you say get us. Absolutely, absolutely. No doubt. Yes, so that's what that's the start. <laughs> now I'm going to get in, in, into the crux of things. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoever is on here, thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated. I try not to do too many cliche jokes, but hey, we have got more time, as they say. <laughs> so let's use it. Let's use it. Myself and get us. But before I get into that. Um, I just am so impressed um, for a lot of you. The, the creativity and the things you're doing online is curious, it's funny, it's interesting. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So keep it going. And sometimes we just need that cold British humor just to tickle our ribs a little bit. Some of it may not be PC, but what the hell with it. <laughs> we need to laugh now and again, you know. Look, look, we can't please everybody. We may offend a few people, but hey, that's just the way it is, as Jim Ron would say. So um, myself and Geddes were really, really good friends. Uh, we met 10 years ago at an FM Opportunity meeting, which was hosted by um, Ian and Barute and um, Daniel O.K. and his wife, Terry. That was 10 years ago. Whoops, uh, there you go. I'm, I'm getting so excited. Uh, no, it was the phone. It's so excited, <laughs> jiggling all over the place. That's the phone there. Put it, I'll just put it back there. And um, I was sitting there at the back with Geddes. We're about three to six, I think we're three or six percent back then. And we just looked at each other. And when Ian showed us the slide of a passive income, I was sold. Um, my background, I'm a psychiatric nurse or mental health nurse, if you um, coined the new, new phrase, mental health nurse. I've always worked. I've worked for 25 years. But I wanted to find a way that I could work once, do it really, really well, and get paid forever. And when I saw that I could create a passive income from FM, that was it. Hands up, shoot me, I was sold, and that was it. 
And contrary to belief, me, myself and Geddes were not married to each other. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have got our own wives. But you know what? I did propose, but he declined. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought I was pretty good looking, but I wasn't his type. Never mind. So, um, <laughs> but there you go. But um, we've been friends ever since, and we've just been building and rocking the business. Why did I get Geddes on here? There's a reason why I got Geddes on here. Because he's one of our own. He's in FM Group. He's been in it a long time. And I know his journeys have ups and downs, highs and lows, like all of us. But when he made a decision, I tell you what, when you make a decision, there's a huge amount of strength in that. When Geddes told me at the FM UK shop about two to three years ago that he was going to do a, a Facebook Live every day or every other day for the next forever, you know what? And he said he's going to commit to that. And I just looked, Geddes, I was snooping on your timeline. I'm very sorry. I was stalking you. <laughs> I was stalking I, ne I needed to see what you were about. So I was stalking you. And I tell you what, I was shocked. <laughs> Mike, you've done what over 500 lives in yeah, the last something couple like 500, of years. I think today will be 550 something. Yeah, 550 lives. I saw <laughs> his post. I saw the quality of the post. I saw the the duplication, the commitment, and all I could say, get us big round of applause to you. Thank That's you, brother. True commitment. Thank you, thank you. It's not easy to keep up consistently with posts every single day. I know how difficult it is. I, I, I myself find it difficult sometimes, but I'm hugely in, impressed. And you've just transformed. I don't even know if it's the same Geddes Ahmed. Is it, are you a clone of the former Geddes? Because this they, Geddes they is- say, They say no man goes in the same river twice, for it's not the wow. same river and he's not the same man. <laughs> wow, I like that. You know what, he's even going deep on the quotes now. So there you have it. He's just totally transformed himself because what? He, he learned the skills. He's been deeply enriched in personal development. He's committed and he's just repeated the same thing over and over again. And it's paying and it's helping him to grow a fantastic business and sustain it as well. So that's what we need to do. So I said, I've got to get Geddes on here. We're just going to run through some key steps of what can we do while we're online, while we're stuck at home with the kids. What is it that can we do? And what kind of inspiration and motivation can we give each other? So there you have it, Geddes. Tell us who you are. <laughs> even, though, even though I've said most of it already. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Fitz, uh, for all the kind words. You know, that's right. You know, we've known each other with Fitz for 10 years and we were like, like the, like the 3% bodies, you know, so I'd go for 6% and Fitz goes 6%, you know, Fitz goes 9% and we go 9%. So we've always been hand in hand, you know, and it's been an incredible uh, friendship, you know, and that's, again, it's a bonus of being in home-based business, you know, that you get to meet amazing people that I would have never met otherwise, you know, but thanks to this business, you know, I have met this incredible guy. So, so yes, my name is Gedeminas. As you can hear from my accent, I, I'm born and bred English person. And um, no, <laughs> I'm from Eastern Europe, um, Lithuanian. I uh, came to UK 15 years ago to study psychology. Uh, and um, as, I used to, as I was studying psychology, I was working as a security guard because I have the right looks for that. Uh, <laughs> and as a security guard, I used to earn about 1,500 pounds a month. Then I graduated from university, got my psychologist uh, diploma and started working in a school with autistic children uh, and started earning 950 pounds a month instead. <laughs> 50% less than what I was earning before finishing university. So for me, that was a shock that that was even possible, but clearly it was because I was the living proof of that. So I still had to work security weekends and nights and things like that. And most often I used to work nights for 12 hours. So I would drive for about an hour and then do a 12 hour night shift in security. And then I would be driving home uh, in the morning for about an hour. Uh, and very often as I would be driving home in the morning, I would hear the sound to and I would wake up as I would be going off the motorway, um, you know, on M1. So I thought, you know what? They're not paying me enough to, for me to kill myself one of these mornings, you know. And, you know, I was spending more time at work, you know, I was spending more time uh, with the pictures of my kids than with the real thing, you know. And I was just not happy. I said, hey, you know, this is not, you know, what I thought it was going to be like, right? So I thought, surely there must be something better. Surely I'm worth more than what they're paying me. And they say, when you look, you find right so uh soon after that uh, my wife my beautiful wife rita comes home with a dvd disc uh, and that dvd disc was the um business opportunity presentation for the network marketing business and when i saw it 
I fell in love with network marketing right away. It was love at first sight, you know, because it was a business that I could start with no investment, which was great because I didn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, I could start it without any experience, which was also awesome because I've never sold a thing in my life. And it was a business that I could literally build from my living room, from my home, using my phone, using my computer, meeting people. And I could build it to where one day uh, it would allow me to work from home full time, right? It would give me passive income uh, and all of that. So we started doing it. It wasn't easy. It was a lot of challenges, etc. So if right now you're in network marketing and you're going through challenges, join the club, right? <laughs> but why shouldn't it be easy, right? Uh, why should it be easy, right? Like, uh, hey, Harrison Ford, it took him 24 years to get first role in the movie, like the, the main role in the movie. ACDC, it took them 40 years to get in the top of the charts. Oprah Winfrey, she was told that she's unfit for television. Um, Elvis Presley, he was told, go back to driving the truck. Music is not for you. Michael Jordan was told that you will never make the team, right? So why should it be easy for us in network marketing too? You know, uh, I remember not long ago, we went to America and we attended a training there where there was a guy making over a million dollars in network marketing. And uh, he went on a stage to do a training and he said, you know what? The first 450 people that I spoke to said no to me. <laughs> question, how many of you would be on this call if four, first 450 people said no to you, right? <laughs> so, hey, it will be challenging and it's okay too. You know, one of my favorite stories is a lady called Amy who's been in network marketing for 17 years and made $3,000, not a month, in the whole of 17 years, right? You could say complete failure of network marketing. After 17 years, she became a multi-million dollar earner in network marketing. Question, was it worth the wait? <laughs> if you have a job right now and you carry on in that job for the next 17 years, what's the chance that they will pay you 80,000 pounds a month? That's actually 1 million a year, right? So if there's no chance, well, I've got great news for you. Network marketing can do that for you. So, so we started off and thanks to this business, you know, fast forward 10 years, thanks to this business, you know, uh, um, you know, we got a car from the company. Uh, we really like to travel. So thanks to this business, we've been to Cyprus, Mallorca, Indonesia, Dubai, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Russia, Ukraine, Greece, Italy, cruise to Germany, uh, Poland, America about three times, oh. about five times now to USA. Uh, are you guys jealous yet? <laughs> Uh, but most <laughs> yes, importantly, <laughs> most importantly, what this business has done for us is allowed us to work more from home, uh, see our kids growing up, uh, spend more time with the family and prepared us exactly for this moment. You know, right now I see so many people losing jobs, uh, struggling uh, with finances, uh, having to shut down their businesses and all sorts of things. And it may be not nice to say that, but Fitz said it was okay to say it. Um, for me, it's business as usual. You know, I was working from home and I carry on working from home. Now, I recall there was a lot of people calling me an idiot when I told them about this little home-based business that I have and there would be a nice idea to start, you know, having a plan B and making money on the side from home. A lot of people said, I'm, I'm, I'm silly. You know, I'm silly like that. Well, right now, um, they're not saying I'm silly anymore <laughs> because money keeps coming in, you know, and I keep working from home, right? So... So this is my story in a nutshell, guys, and, and that's how I got into network marketing. Now, because of the results we were able to achieve and because of the, the personal development we've done and the trainings we attended, et cetera, we have invested heavily in ourselves over the last 10 years. And now uh, my passion is sharing that knowledge with other people, helping other people to also get results and also uh, you know, make more money uh, from working from home, get better results in their, in their network marketing business. And this is one of the reasons why, as Fitz mentioned uh, about 550 days ago, uh, I sat down with my mentor and I said, you know what, uh, I'm going to do a Facebook Live. But, but I, in, in the past, I wasn't consistent with it. I wasn't serious about it. So this time I'm going to do it seriously. And I'm going to do one every single day. Now, I haven't missed a day and it's been about 550 days. And I've done a training, uh, one, two or three videos every day for the last 150 days. Because I also do wow. in Lithuanian, you know, in my own language, etc. So, but that's just one of the things that, that, that uh, I do. So actually consistency, you know, has been my word of the day for the last two years. <laughs> actually, almost anything will work for you uh, in life if you do it consistently. I don't care what you decide to do. You decide go do flyers, or well, maybe not right now, but obviously sometime in the future, if you decide to do leaflets, that's going to work <laughs> for you if you do it consistently. You decide to build your business on social media, 
is going to work for you if you do it consistently. You decide to approach people face to face. You decide to have hotel meetings. You decide to have coffee shop meetings. You decide to call people on the phone. You decide to buy leads and work those leads. You decide whatever. It's going to work for you if you do it consistently. You see, the, the, the biggest challenge is that most people, they find, oh, there's a strategy. They do it for three days. They don't get result and go, ah, that doesn't, doesn't work. What's the next strategy, right? Grab that one, do that yeah. one for five days. Doesn't work, doesn't bring a million. Ah, scrap that. What's next, right? And they keep jumping from one thing to another without realizing that any one of those things would have worked if you kept it consistently. So like uh, one of our mentors, Fraser Brooks says, he says, network marketing works for 100% of people who work <laughs> simple as that mm -hmm. you see the challenge is in the name actually because it says net work marketing it's not net sit marketing not net hang around marketing not net don't just quit marketing <laughs> it's net work marketing right the secret is in the name you have to do some work right wow <laughs> what can i say get us um, exactly spot on i <laughs> You know, exactly. Consistency is the word. And look, I was speaking to Gerdas before the training and he was saying to me, um, you know what, this is the first time I think we've had in 10 years, we've been in FM 10 years now, where we're actually not getting anyone saying we haven't got no time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pardon the pun. Yeah, right, <laughs> right now is the best time to build your business. I know it sounds yes. horrible. I know it sounds... Mm -hmm. But if you are a network marketing or if you ever considered doing network marketing, now is the time. It's like the best time. Why? Yeah. Because for the last 10 years, uh, as we were building the business, I would speak to people and say, hey, there's an opportunity for you to make extra income or develop a stream of passive income, you know, make some extra money, maybe build a new thing. And you know the answer? Very often that I would receive, oh, uh, get a minus. You know, I, I love the idea. I love the, the concept, you know, but... I'm too busy. You know, I have to go to work. I have to take the kids to school. I have to pick the kids from school. I have to take kids to karate, to gymnastics, etc. I've got the wedding coming up. You know, I have to go with the mates for a beer. I have to do this, that, and the other. Guess what? They ain't going anywhere now. <laughs> They're sitting at home like in a tank, right? So all of a sudden, everybody has got extra hours in the day, right? Now is yeah. the time to recruit like heck, you know? So, um, you know, first tip for you maybe for today to make a note of is follow up like crazy now. Like every single person you've reached out to two months ago, six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, anybody who said no to you over your whole career in network marketing, you should be following up with those people right now because hey ho, you know, the situation has changed. And a lot of those people, uh, you know, either out of jobs or they're not as busy anymore, etc. So they might look at your business in a completely different light. Secondly, why it's the best time to build your home based business right now, because um, right now we're still sort of in like a shock phase, right? It's only been a few weeks, all locked up. You know, most people still not doing too bad. But guess what? Over the next uh, coming weeks and months, uh, people's savings will start running out people's jobs will stop paying because I, you know, I, hey, I'm not a negative Nelly and all of that. And I know the government is running all of these schemes, you know, to pay 80% off income, etc. But how long do you think realistically jobs will keep paying people full pay without people going to work? <laughs> yeah. How long I mean, do you think that's going to carry on? So this is going to be a point mm. where, you know, uh, this builder who is being told work from home, he goes, hey, you know, like I've got my cement mixer here in my living room, but it's difficult to work from home, right? Right. So, so a lot of these people will start struggling with money. And guess what? All of a sudden, they will become very open to different ways of making money, right? This is, again, your turn. And um, one thing I want to say straight away, you know, is work on your mindset. Because over the last few weeks, as I'm talking to a lot of people in network marketing, I'm catching a lot of people with the mindset of, oh, you know, I don't want to be a predator. You know, I don't want to be, you know, uh, now using the opportunity, you know, to take advantage of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be like, like taking advantage of all of this, you know, coronavirus and all of that. And, you know, that's one way of looking at it. For me, my way of looking at it, hey, all of a sudden, there's thousands and thousands of people that I can help for. You know, there's thousands of people that I can offer the helping hand. 
There's the thousands of people that I can give them an opportunity to make more money from home. There's thousands of people that I can support, right? So for me, I'm not looking that, ah, you know, I'm out there to get people. I'm out there to save as many as possible, to help as many as possible, right? To, to, to put food on people's table, to put money in people's bank account. Because if I help somebody to start making money from home, I've just helped that family. You know, so question for me is how many can I help? Right. How many families can I help? Right? So, so get your mind right in this thing. Definitely get us. Um, just to add to that, um, we're not here. Trust me, we're not here to profit from what's going on. What's going on is absolutely awful. We are here. Our job is to help because there's millions, not even thousands, millions of people at home worried sick. You know, when's the next income going to come in? When's the next bill going to be paid? How am I going to get food? There's millions of people bored stiff looking for an opportunity there's millions of people looking for our help our job is to help to say hey look there is another way you know this could help you during this time that's our job so let's find ways to help people that's what i want to do you know our our, our, our job is to help people and we need to keep doing that and just to touch on some of the points that um Gena says the problem is um people don't have patience <laughs> when i joined fm people thought i was absolutely loony they said, you know, you're not going to get the Mercedes. Um, it's only for the ones who started a few years ago or those at the top. You're not going to qualify for the holidays. I was told over and over and over again. Um, luckily, I just had a strong mind, and I'm very stubborn. And you know what? It took me about seven years to get that Mercedes. But when it came, my goodness. And you know what? When I got the Mercedes, then they told me I was lucky. <laughs> so I can't win no matter what I do. But it's just about being, having the patience to do it. When I went on my first FM anniversary, um, in Punta Cana in 2017. It was my first FM anniversary. I've been watching other FM leaders for about seven years going on that, but I didn't think, oh, it's not fair. You know, um, Irene is so lucky or Ian and Baruta is so lucky to go. I actually watched them going and I applauded and I said, hey guys, can you show me what you're doing so you can help me so I can come and join you? And that's all I did. I just duplicated or copied and pasted exactly what they're doing, all the skills, and eventually I qualified to go. Yeah, I don't want and, things and actually, to get worse. Yeah, yeah carry on, get us. You jump touched. in. Yeah, and actually, you just touched on something super, super important, and I think it's worth mentioning this lesson. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a there's a there's a thing called Huna philosophy. You know, it comes from from Hawaii, um, and the Huna philosophy. One one part of Huna philosophy says, "Bless that which you desire." You see, the reason why a lot of people don't achieve uh, very much success in life, don't make much money, and don't achieve their dreams. Um, is because they're jealous, is because they are angry at other people succeeding, is because they're saying or thinking bad things about uh, other people who have things that they don't have. But let me give you a, a lesson in psychology and the way your brain works, right? So the way your brain works, imagine you see somebody making more money than you, achieving more than you, having the car you desire or having the house you desire, and you don't have that. And imagine if you're jealous at them. Imagine if you curse them in your mind and, and you find reasons to say something bad about them. Yeah, she has a nice car, but she must be a horrible wife, you know, and, or she's making a lot of money, but, he, you know, <laughs> she must be, you know, whatever, right? Not spending money with her kids or whatever, right? If you do that stuff, you're basically guaranteeing that you will never have that in your life too. You will never make the money. You'll never achieve success. You'll never have that car, etc. Why? Because the way your subconscious brain works, it listens to what you're saying. So if, if your subconscious uh, brain sees that you see success, you see money, you see wealth, uh, and you curse it and you are jealous of it, etc., then your subconscious mind will say, okay, so if, if, you, if I become successful, that means other people will be jealous of me. Other people will be cursing me. I don't want that because that's bad, right? To be cursed at and to be jealous of. So let's ensure that you will never make that money. Let's ensure that you never become successful, right? And that's why a lot of people are stuck where they are and never make the money, never get the results because they're sending, even unknowingly, the waves that cause them to self-sabotage on their way to success. So the fastest way for you to get the results is exactly what Fitch just mentioned, is when you see other people getting results that you want, uh, at least in your mind, wish them well. Say, amazing. Yeah wish you well, thank you, I bless you, so amazing. If you can, actually do it. Like if you see somebody uh, arrive in a car that occurs of your dreams, approach that person, shake their hand and say, thank you so much. 
Thank you for being an example. Thank you for being a role model. Thank you for showing me what is possible to achieve. Thank you, thank you. Because this way, now you're programming your brain in opposite way, right? You're programming your brain that, hey, having loads of money, being wealthy, achieving your dreams is great because you thanking them. So when you reach the results, other people will thank you too. Wow. I think that's absolutely awesome. And again, let's just to jump in there. I'm just having a quick look. We've got 91 people um, on this that course. It's absolutely amazing. That all? Ah, more will come. More will come. I, I, I thought we were met... more famous than that. Ah, don't worry. It's coming <laughs> up. They're just, they're, they're just warming up, having their cocoa. Or their, their, their you guys, guys you, and... this. you know, drop the link into your teams. Let people know. Let them jumping on. Yeah. If you're on Facebook, you can share the Facebook link of, of, of uh, my timeline or Fitz's timeline. You know, spread the word. I think people need a bit of positivity in their life. Yeah, they definitely do. So, get this. Can we do a super screenshot or anyone out there can gather as much? I know you do the wide absolutely, one. Absolutely, uh, with the, absolutely. So, everyone put on their best smile. So, so stomachs in, <laughs> chests out. Stomachs in. You've all been using the FM <laughs> whitening toothpaste. Yes, we're all good. Say cheese. Cheese. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Terrific. We got that there. And oh, get us. Yes. We've got some really good, um, we've got a few comments here. I'm just going to run through a few awesome. of them. Awesome. Um, we've got um, Fiona and um, people always telling me it's not a real job and um, she says she's using that negativity to drive success and Megan Hosier said her dad told her and this is Megan our, our Jasper star her dad told her she was wasting her time when she started and, <laughs> and now she says now I earn more than him and now her dad tells her I'm proud of you and he said, I'm glad, Megan, that you didn't listen to me. But, so that's Megan's own father. And, and, it's, so and really... it's story after story after story like that. You know, most, you see, network marketing, it's, um, it's, it's an industry that is disruptive. What does it mean? Whenever there's an industry that is disruptive, people usually look at it in a negative light. Think about uh, Uber. When Uber started, yeah. it took out a lot of taxi companies out of business because it was a disruptive um, company. It disrupted the industry of uh, carrying people, right? Uh, then look at Airbnb. When Airbnb started out, it took a lot of hotels out of business because it provided a better service, cheaper service, a uh, service that people enjoyed using, and it disrupted that industry. Well, network marketing, in a similar way, it's also a disruptive um, business to the rest of the industry because people were were raised in a way that hey your grandfather worked all of his life retired on peanuts then your father worked all of his life retired on peanuts so you're supposed to also go to school get a good education get a job work all of your life and retire on peanuts right so when you try to change that pattern when you try to chop that chain and change that uh, a lot of people will be negative. A lot of people, and we call them dream stealers, and there's two kinds of them, right? The first kind are people who actually care and love you, right? So these are your family, your friends, etc. And they don't want you to get hurt. They don't want you to lose money or, uh, you know, lose job or lose opportunity. You know, they see you work so hard in your university degree, etc. So they say, hey, you know, don't drop this profession. Don't leave your job. Keep, you know, stick to that. Don't do this on this business because you don't know if it's going to work out. So they have good intentions in heart, and they just try to protect you but without realizing it they are actually talking you out of your dreams right the second group of people not so nice as as the previous one are people basically who are simply jealous so when you share with somebody hey i'm going to build my business i'm going to work from home i'm going to make good money i'm going to take my kids to disneyland it's going to be absolutely amazing now that person realizes that crap i should be doing something like that too but because whatever for whatever reason they are not ready to do change their life maybe they're lazy maybe they're scared or for whatever reason because they're not ready to start changing their life the next best thing to do is to drag you down is to criticize you so they say ah you're an idiot it's not gonna work out you're stupid it's they're never gonna give you that car and you're never gonna make that money etc and now they walk away from you feeling oh feel much better you know because she's an idiot right like it's just a way for them to make themselves feel better right but again these people can talk you out of your dreams and well, you'll find that actually that doesn't just apply to network marketing. You know, if you, if you read any biography of any successful person, if you listen to any successful singers, actors, uh, you know, comedians, etc., a lot of them say the same thing. When I wanted to pursue my passion, when I wanted to pursue my, my, my talent, people told me, hey, not a good idea. Hey, it's never going to work out for you, right? So if you have naysayers in your life, if you have people who... Uh, 
as saying that this is not good or it's not going to work out. Just understand that it's just part of the deal, but you just have to carry on. Cool. Okay. Oops. You see, I think you have to do it yourself, Fitz, because I can't unmute you. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, just to say, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie just made me laugh with the, with the comments saying that she can't suck her stomach in because she's having a baby. And we understand. <laughs> Damn Charlie, babies. So <laughs> These Ruined babies there. I don't know. The birth rate has gone up, but we wish you well with everything going on. Then the <laughs> delivery, pregnancy goes well. It's more time at home. You know, so safe. birth rate will go like mad. We're going to have another baby boomer, you know, wave. I think so. There'll be more babies born at home. I, I definitely know that. <laughs> and and just, to, just to add, um, thank you guys. You've, you've got a hundred or more people on the call. Absolutely amazing. Share this with your team. Share this on Facebook. If you've got new prospects, bring them here. They're in a safe environment. There's love, there's positivity, there's encouragement in the air. And this is what we do well as network marketers, as home-based business people, as part of FM Group World. This is what we do well. So we're showing the world that we're here. Our light is on and it's shining bright. So just to touch and get us, this is five things. If, if you leave here and you can't remember, these are the five things I want you to leave here with. And this is, I'm getting would agree with me. Firstly, first thing, the most important thing, now you have the time, you've had time to think and to reflect your well being. I often forget about my well being sometimes. Sometimes I'm going off like a, a rabbit, like, I don't know, what, <laughs> the roadrunner, and you forget about your well being, your sleep. Are you eating well? How's your mental health? How's your emotional well being? These things are so, so important. We cannot give good value if we're not giving good value to ourselves. We have to be number one. We have to be a little bit selfish and think about ourselves. So we're being nourished right in so, so many ways. So your well-being is so, so, so important. So, you know, for the first time, I'm actually getting good sleep. <laughs> I actually can get a good sleep and have plenty of time to do everything else. You know, that I know I'm stuck at home. So well-being is so, so important. Number two, guys, I want you to for the next, for how long we're here for, I don't know when this is going to be over, but I want you to kick ass, the hell ass, personal development, personal development. My goodness, you're not going to get it so good again. You know what? We, we may complain, but don't complain because when this is all over, we might just miss this time. Personal development. You've got time for the books. You've got time for the Zooms. You've got time for the webinar. You know what? You can become an expert in the next few months and know everything you need to know about building your business online, about helping people. Use this time to personally develop yourself. This will help your mindset because God forbid, if this thing carries on, which I hope it doesn't, and it gets worse, our mindset needs to be really strong. Honestly, it's the ones with the strongest mindset that will survive because the pressure will be on on a lot of people. So we need to be ready and waiting. And it's about building that mindset. Sometimes you just need myself or get us or Eric Worry or somebody else to tell you, hey, you're good enough. You need your upline or your business partners to say, hey, you're good enough. So build that mindset. If you don't like reading, watch the audio books. If you don't like audio books, YouTube. If you don't like that, <laughs> I don't know, Instagram, whatever it is that rocks your boat, use that and personally develop yourself. Hey, you could even learn Spanish on the way. Hey, who knows? Hablo Español. Well, that wasn't very good Spanish, but I'll leave that there. <laughs> and thirdly, so, so important. I love this, guys. Your creativity online. My gosh, some, I didn't know some of you are comedians. You're so funny. Honestly, I love it. Even some of it's a bit PC, but I'm tickled to my ribs. It's so, so funny. We need a good laugh now and again. I mean, Alison Reed, your post on your Facebook stories that everybody used to laugh at Michael Jackson when he had the mask and the gloves. Now look at everyone walking around the street. I was, I was in stitches. And, who, and you said, who, do they want to be starting something? I thought that's absolutely hilarious. You know, we need a little bit of a human sometimes just to keep, keep that human going, you know, the consistency. The key is, guys, this is what we need to do, is to be more visible, yeah? Number four is more visible online. We need to be visible online to everybody. If your team members can't see you, your friends online can't see you, then you're not being visible enough. Be more visible. The ones who are visible get picked up by all these billions of people around the world online looking for something to do, looking for something to order, you need to be visible. If you're not visible, how are people going to know what you're doing? You need to still a little secret agent. You don't want to be exposed too much in case somebody sees you, in case you're a little bit embarrassed. The killer to the business is being self-conscious. I used to be hugely self-conscious. Back in the days, my gosh, I was always obsessed with how I look and is the wet look right? And, you know, am I doing the moonwalk right? Am I doing the robot right? 
I was obsessed with how good I looked. And, be, and that's carried on the way, all the way through until I got rid of it. And I realized, you know what? Self-consciousness is going to kill my business. I need to let go and be free. Sometimes it pays to be a little bit silly. The silly you are, the better it is. Being silly makes you feel good. The better it is, it makes, it makes you human. It's good for your spirit. So get rid of that self-consciousness that's holding you back and be free. So guys, as I said, Kill the hell out of personal development. Your well-being first. Work on that well-being. Make sure you're nurtured. Make sure you look right. Don't let the kids run you ragged, you know? If your husband or wife, you know, is, is buzzing you, tell them to wait. Put the kids to bed first. But you know what? <laughs> Make sure your well-being is right. Being absolutely, you know, working on your personal development, you've got to kill the hell out of the personal development. That's what I'm going to do. I'm focusing on personal development for the next few weeks, the months, however it will be. I'm going to be an expert in whatever it is that I want to do in line of building this business and helping people. Be creative and continue with those wonderful posts. Be consistent. Lots of people have got really good ideas. I realize that some people are still delivering to their local community, but they're doing it in a wonderful way. I love when I'm speaking to Ian Corden, he's telling me he actually is doing local deliveries in a sterile bag. How awesome is that? <laughs> you know, neighbors are leaving money outside in little bags for you to pick up so you don't have contacts. So people have been really, really creative. Use the special offers that FM UK are putting on. Use the promotions. Maybe you can offer free delivery. Um, FM World UK and DPD are having minimal contact with the products. So the products are delivered in a safe manner. I love the way people are now putting raffles and, and prize draws and games and they're infiltrating, you know, their posts are not just all FM, but they're infiltrating some humor in there as well. So keep that going. Fourthly, I want you to be more visible. If I can't see you, if Linda McNeil can't see you, and Steph or staff, no, it's Steph with the bunny rabbit ears. I love, I love the ear cozy. It's absolutely beautiful. And we need to be more visible. If we're not visible, Geddes is always visible. He's always there. You know, other people are always there. Then the people who are looking for the opportunity are going to go to them. So be more visible. If I'm not being visible enough, message me. Say, Fitz, I did see a post today. Are you sleeping? You shouldn't be because you're at home. You know, wake up, put a post on there. We need to be encouraging and supporting each other. Be more visible. If it's Facebook's not your thing, then use Instagram. If Instagram's not your thing, there's Pinterest. If um, that's not good for your thing, you, I don't know, get it. She's a TikTok. Is oh, it yes. TikTok? I, I'm on I TikTok. don't know. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> TikTok, but it's a new one. So maybe that's your thing, whatever it is. If you're still able to do the local community in a safe manner, then let that be your thing. But let's work this thing. And finally, this has got to be, if we do not do this, then forget about the other four things I said and get us touched on this. It doesn't matter what you do. Consistency is the key. If we're not consistent, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter if you're building your mindset. It doesn't matter if you, you know, about, you know, your, your, well, your well-being does matter, but it doesn't matter about if you're building your mindset or if you're posting online. It doesn't matter if you're doing the leaflet jobs. Whatever you're doing, if you're not consistent, like you do it on Monday, but uh, don't feel like it on Tuesday, I do it on Thursday. You're off and on. We need to be consistent. Hey, I put my hands up. Some days I have I had a bad day. Sometimes I haven't been consistent. But the key is, is that I wake myself up, give myself a stop, say, hey, Fitz, come on. You promised to keep your lights on. You made a commitment to your business. You've got to be consistent. Then I get back on it. I get some encouragement or I get a nudge or an elbow from Brian or Dennis and say, Fitz, come on. We're going to keep this post going, you know? So consistency is the key. And I promise you, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the week after, but the results will come. Results are really an interesting thing because they never come when you, when you expect it. They come when you least expect it. So focus on the activity. Focused on those daily activities, they become easier. I used to hate posting on Facebook. When I first started, I was posting once a week. Then I improved, I was posting three times a week. Now I post every day. It became easier as it became a daily habit. And then the results came. Then the Mercedes came. Then the qualifying for the anniversaries came. So be consistent. If you can't do anything else, just be consistent, yes? And guys, I think you're absolutely amazing. I'm loving the comments on there. People are just being positive. And this is what we need. We need more forums like this, more energy. Hey, who knows? We're even have a little party next time. But let's just keep it going and let's keep that love in the air. There you go, get us. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, 100%. Uh, actually, our team leader, Sarah, she actually run the bingo the other day. We had a bingo on the Zoom. So it was absolutely incredible. It took me a while to figure it out how to, I'm not English, you know. So I was like, what? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Five numbers, you know, between what? one and what and a hundred uh, all right so but i figured it out by the end you know i didn't win though right she was saying all the wrong numbers you know it didn't fit my <laughs> But so true if it's what, what you said, you know, about um, the fact, you know, that we have to be visible. And actually, again, 
um, whenever there's a crisis, whenever there's something happening, um, a lot of people get distracted, you know, and, and I know my mentor, Irina Oliver, uh, always says, you know, when everybody else is relaxing, when everybody else is distract, distracted, that's the time to attack the business. You know, be, why? Because it's less competition. You know, like during summer months when people go on holidays, etc., and they relax and they let the business drop. That's the time mm -hmm. to go hard because that's now when you have less competition. So right now yeah. as well, you want it or not, there's going to be loads of people who are preoccupied with the current situation, who are watching the BBC news 24 hours a day, you know, finding all the negative, negative information, etc. which means there's less people posting stuff. There's less people yeah. in network marketing, building their businesses, which means you have less noise to get through. That means it's less, it's easier for you to get in front of people because like Gary Vaynerchuk says, he says, before you can sell your product or sell your business opportunity, first of all, you need to get people's attention, right? If you yeah. can't get the people's attention, you can't, if you can't get through the noise, it doesn't matter how great the product you have or how amazing the business opportunity you have. So first thing is actually to get through the noise, to get in front of people. And right now it's easier than it has ever been to get in front of, uh, you know, more people in your business. Now, but what also your fit said about, you know, being more consistent with your social media presence, sure. you know, uh, actually, you know, posting more, etc. And that's something I think that is so, so, so important because most people are not being taught that. Okay, so I'll just come in there. Ian just yeah. made me laugh. He said, have I, have I unpacked my boxes? I've got these boxes that since we moved in, we haven't unpacked enough. <laughs> there you go. They're there. still there, Ian. Yeah, sorry, Ian. I'll get it done eventually. Sorry, Ken. Let's carry on. I just yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So, you know, in, 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 in the way, for, there's only two ways for you to grow your network marketing business, you know, and I've learned this from my mentor, Ray Higdon, you know, and um, he said, by the way, we're going to have him for a call for our team only. So keep your eyes peeled, you know, he's an awesome guy. I love him. So he says, you know, there's only two ways for you to build your home based business, right? It's prospecting and network and marketing, right? Now, unfortunately, even though our business is called network marketing, most people are not being taught marketing. Most people are only taught prospecting. You know what? You need to make a list. You know, you need to start, you know, uh, getting your family and friends, you know, or, you know, then you need to start messaging people privately. And then you need to speak to strangers, you know, free foot rule. Remember, you know, anybody who breathes, you know, you need to present. And even though that's super important and that is amazing way to build your business, there's a whole second part of it, which is marketing, right? Which means it's putting content out there, putting your message out there to get people to come to you. Now, unless you love prospecting and you want to do that for the rest of your life, uh, then you need to figure out how to do marketing so that people start coming to you. So that one day, maybe you don't need to go and keep looking for new people because you have people coming to you and asking, hey, you know, I've heard about your business. Hey, I found out about what you do. I would like to learn more. I'd like to join your team. Now, um, just to give you an example, how many of you would love a new Amaranth Orchid leader in your business with 100,000 plus points, right? Well, a uh, couple of months ago, about four months ago, uh, this lady messaged me, messages me saying, hey, uh, you know, uh, I saw some of your videos on YouTube, right? Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, would you mind being my sponsor? I said, mm, let me calculate one, two, carry the one there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would like to be a sponsor. Now that lady actually, Sarah Mash, she's actually on the call today. Uh, and she, within the last six months, she's built a business, Amaranth Orchid business with over, you know, 100,000 in volume, et cetera. And that's because of the video that I uploaded to YouTube about four years ago, maybe five years ago. Yeah. Right? So marketing has incredible power because it works for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It doesn't ask for the raise. It doesn't complain. It, and it, the best part of it, it doesn't even cost you anything. Right. So the reason why, you know, I do the Facebook lives, the reason why I do the YouTube videos, the reason why I post, the reason why I do all of that, because that's marketing guys. You know, if you do enough of that, that will start generating business for you. Right. Uh, there's another cool example. Um, about two years ago, I recorded a video about how to use Zoom, right? Now I did one in English, but I also did one in Lithuanian, right? Because I speak Lithuanian. So I did a video about how to use Zoom in Lithuanian, right? About two years ago in 2017. I've uploaded it onto my YouTube channel and later on you can check it out. Um, and over the last two years, I don't know, maybe like a thousand people saw that video, uh, which is pretty much what, you know, most of my videos, they don't get many views anyway, right? 
Guess how many people saw that video, Fitz? You, you guess how many people saw that video within the last two weeks since all of this situation started? I would take, okay, it's a thousand videos on average you get. I'm just going to go 10,000 people. 52,000 people so far. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right so that's again that's the power of marketing right that's the power mm. of content now will every video get 50,000 views of course not but if it's it's if it's relevant if it got on the topic guess what guess what video i did yesterday right i saw this little thing on facebook this little graph that people started sharing fraser brook shared it i saw ray higdon today shared it it's about google searches for work from home right and google searches for for work from home went up like 300% over the last 2 weeks right because everybody is googling guess the video i did yesterday i did a, a facebook live yesterday how to choose a work from home company how to choose a network marketing company what things to stay away from etc I, I made that video put it on on youtube right now i know because it's in english there's going to be thousands and thousands of other people who do exactly the same thing but it doesn't matter right that's marketing right so you need to uh, start doing something to drive business to you. Otherwise, you'll have to keep looking for people for the rest of your life, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, get us. I think I really, you really touched on something really, really important because a lot of people, even me, myself, when I started getting into, when I got better at marketing online, I'd often think, hang on, there's a thousand other people doing the same post and, you know, that one's done it already. So what chance do I have? Well, a very pretty big chance considering there's about a billion people or more online every day. The way I see it, if you're not on the football pitch, you're not going to score the goal. Scoring the goal is getting that sale, getting the new prospects, getting the goal, you know what I mean? Getting the points. If you're in a spectator stand looking in on social media, you're not going to be scoring any goals. So 100%. be on the pitch, be I, on I like, the pitch. I like that you yeah, mentioned sorry. that. I like that you mentioned yeah. that because you spoke yeah. about personal development and since uh, this whole situation started since all of this isolation, etc. Within the last few weeks, I already bought, I don't know, four or five courses, right? So I've been heavily going through personal development, you know, uh, reading up, but mainly watching, watching programs, right? And one of the programs I was watching the, that we purchased is uh, the 10x growth conference uh, that Grant Cardone ran uh, mm -hmm. at the end of last year. And there was, uh, there was uh, one of the speakers was Kevin Hart, right? He's a super successful comedian, actor, but he's also a millionaire, you know, well, multimillionaire, super successful business person. And he gave an example what separates most people from the winners, right? And I thought, wow, this is really applying to, uh, applies to network marketing too, you know? So he said, imagine if you, in your city, it's not coronavirus, right? So everybody's out and about, right? In your city, they announced that, you know, there's a baseball uh, stadium, right? And they announced that, hey, we're going to run a contest um, for non-professional baseball players, so just amateurs, to come over, take a swing at the ball. And if you hit the home run, if the ball goes out of the court, you get 5 million pounds. So he goes, imagine how many people would turn up to hit the ball, right? There would be thousands, right? Because like, who wouldn't take a shot for 5 million, right? So, so there's gonna be a different kinds of people, right? The first group of people will arrive at the stadium and they, they see that the line is like five miles long. So they go, ah, the line is too long. Turn around, go home, right? Like, oh, I can't be bothered to stay the line, right? So that's the first group of people. And we get those people in network marketing too, right? You invite them to a business presentation. They come in. It's life-changing opportunity. But they go, ah, oh, you know, I'm not the first in. So ah, I give up, right? They don't even start, right? Then the second group of people, a bigger chunk of people, will say, okay, great. You know, I'll stay in the queue. I'll wait for my shop because bloody hell, you know, you, I can win 5 million pounds, right? So they'll stand in the queue for whatever time it takes, right? And eventually they get to the front, right? They get to the front of the queue, they enter the stadium, right? They give them the bat, right? And somebody throws the ball and they take a swing, right? Now, because they're not professional, most likely they're going to miss the ball or they're going to hit it, but not that well, right? So they, they, they had their chance. They turn around now and the queue is again like 10 miles long. So most people will go, ah, I gave it a shot. I go home, right? So they will go home, right? And, and, a lot of people are like that in network marketing. They say, well, I've joined. I, I did my minimum order, right? It never happened to me. I didn't make the millions, right? I, I, I love, I sometimes share this photo on my Facebook, you know, with this lady crying. Uh, and it says, um, 
I joined my home based business two weeks ago and I haven't made a million yet. I knew it was a scam, right? So, um, <laughs> so, this is another, so that's the second kind of person. But you know who's going to win in network marketing? You know the person who's going to go to the top of the marketing plan and have those big checks and get the cars and the holidays? Is the person who takes a swing, misses it, goes, great, I'm going back to the queue, to the end of the queue. And they will keep going back to the queue until everybody's gone home. Yeah. They'll keep going back and back and back. And the queue will get shorter and shorter and shorter. By the time, they're just on their own. And they just keep swinging until they hit the bloody ball, you know, and out of the field. That's what it takes to become successful in anything, right? Whether, whatever your wow. passion is, right? Well, even for you, network marketing, that's what it takes to succeed in a business. Is to never stop trying. Is to never stop taking the swing, right? So, so it's the attitude, right? And, and that's the first part of success in business is your attitude. If you have the right attitude, nobody can stop. You know, nobody can defeat somebody who doesn't give up. If you don't give up, you will get the result eventually. I don't know how long it's gonna take for you. Some of you, you know, you go crazy, right? Like we have Megan Nicole, right? Who came in and she started breaking all the records, you know, hitting high ranks, et cetera. But then we have other people, you know, like me and Fitz, we've been in this thing for 10 years. We're not just the size yet, you know? We haven't made millions yet, but we're gonna get there, right? We're gonna keep swinging, right? So that's number one. Number two is the skill, right? Like you have to start developing the skill. And like Fitz said, there hasn't been a better opportunity to work on your skills, right? You're sitting at home now, you know, so you can choose to watch, you know, Coronation Street or whatever else they show on, on television. I don't know. I own the television, but it's not plugged in, right? So, you know, you can choose to watch that or you can start working on your craft. You can start working on your profession. You see, uh, think about, you know, doctors, lawyers, uh, nurses, etc., electricians and so on. They all work on their craft. They go to qualification improvement course. They go to, uh, you know, seminars. They go to, they read books in their craft to get better at their profession. Well, guess what? Network marketing is also a profession. You know, so if you want to get better results, you better start working on your skill because motivation alone is not enough. You know, we can motivate you all day long, but they say, if you take an idiot and motivate him, you have a motivated idiot. <laughs> he still doesn't know what to do, right? <laughs> so, so there has to be skill. You need to, you need to learn what exactly to do, what exactly to say, what exactly to post, what exactly you know to do with your team members in order to get better results. So that's number two. And last number three is work rate. You know, do you actually do enough of the work? You know, uh, whenever I coach somebody and somebody comes to me and says, oh, I'm getting me, I'm struggling in network marketing, I'm not getting results. First question I ask them, I, and I learned it from, from uh, you know, Jim Ron, uh, rest in peace. Uh, I say, well, what's the number? You know, how many people have you showed this business to over the last, uh, you know, seven days? And you, you know what I usually get? I get a story. I don't get a number. I get a story. Oh, you see, uh, I've been tired last week. You know, uh, the newspaper came in wrinkled, you know, and uh, my dog, you know, he had diarrhea, you know, so I could, like, I get a story. And I go, hey, 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 hold it, hold it. Right? Like, I can't fit the story in the box. I need a number. Right? I need a number. I can't fit the story. The box is too small for the, sto for the story, right? I need a number. And usually, guess what? The number is in single digits. You know, like, oh, you know, I spoke to three, but all of them said no. <laughs> Now we know what the problem is, right? It's the work rate. You know, you know what to do. You, you want to, you know, you have the motivation to do it. You're just not doing the darn thing, right? So these are like the very important three things to do. Wow. Wow, well, get us. I, I see that we're approaching the magic hour. I, can, I know some kids, I've seen some kids moving in the background, so they're getting <laughs> restless. I know one or two have got other meetings to go to. Um, if, if we have anything else, let's, let's wind it up and, and you know, wrap it up in a, you know, uh, Conclude in a really nice way. So I'll just cut. Yeah, go on, get us. Yeah, yeah. Go on, yeah. One last thing I wanted to mention before we break away um, is how we work, you know, like because right now we can't leave our house. So, like 99% of us, we're going to be building our business on social media, right? We will be posting, we'll be doing lots of things, you know. And one thing, you know, I want to encourage you uh, is not to become the Spamela Anderson. <laughs> right which means it's not just spam people right and, and most people know what spam is you know in terms of email right so in your email you get emails from people that you need that are asked or wanted to receive emails from and that's called spam right it's unsolicited uh messages right but you can do the same thing actually on social media not just by messaging somebody and going oh i've got an amazing business opportunity here's my referral link right 
like without actually asking the person, would they be open to take a look at your business? But actually, even on your social media profile, you can also spam. Because if you go on social media profile and you go product, 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 join my business, product, 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 join my business, that's spam. Mm -hmm. right? Because if somebody comes to yeah. their Facebook and sees only sales posts, it's spam, right? Because they haven't asked for that, right? So um, what I would highly advise you to, to, to learn is how to do curiosity posts instead, yeah. right? And these are the posts that, that, that encourage people's curiosity, right? So instead of me going, hey, I work with this company, right? Please join my business. It's going to be amazing, right? Which is not, not going to work anyway, right? Most people are just going to ignore that and go, oh, another one, right? My goal is to raise curiosity, right? So I might go, uh, I might take a picture of myself here right now. Let, let me actually do that. I'll, I'll, I'll take a selfie. You guys know you're in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I, I, ain't, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Right? So I take a photo and I now go yeah. ahead and put this crazy face photo. Right? I don't know if you can see that with my crazy face. Yeah. Right? I go put that on social media and I go, I'm so grateful to my home-based business that allowed me to carry on working from home, making money without stop uh, coming into my bank account. And I'm so grateful because I'm peaceful, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm, you know, so calm with this current situation. Now, did I tell you what company I work with? Did I tell you what product I sell? Did I tell you, you know, uh, what I, I didn't even invite you to join the darn thing, right? But I raised your curiosity. So now if you don't know who I am and what I do, that might, that, that might cause you to go, well, what do you do getting me in us, right? Or maybe private message me. Hey, you know, I saw this photo. What is it that you do, right? Same with the product, right? I can take a product and go, hey, buy my product. Amazing product. Buy one, get one, right? So amazing, right? Buy my, like, like you can do that, right? But that's not very enticing. That's not very interesting. Instead, I could put a photo saying, hey, you know, like, I feel so amazing. You know, I started this, taking this product that, you know, reduces, you know, uh, it helps me sleep better. It, it doesn't, you know, make me bloated. You know, it, it actually even helped me to lose some weight, etc. right? So, and you can do that for any product. I, I can take a pen and go, hey, there's a pen. Buy one, get one, right? Like nobody wants the dump, right? <laughs> But I could go and make a curiosity post that I would say, oh, I'm so grateful that I have received this incredible writing utensil. Now, using this writing utensil has made me more confident, has made me more secure when I do presentations. I feel more, uh, you know, strong, etc. And people seem to be liking my writing a lot more when I use this writing. Now, I haven't even shown you the darn thing. You want to buy the pen, you know? Like, what, what is it that you use? What is this? Right? So lead with the benefit. Lead with the with the with the with the with, with the, the value that you get with the how it solves some sort of a problem on your social media instead of just leading with what it is. Like nobody's interested in what it is, but people are interested in what it does, what problem it could solve in their life, and so on. You know, lead with story posts. Tell a story with, with your post, right? Whether it's about a business or a I, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that's absolutely awesome, and you touched on it. I mean, hey, I'm hands up. Before I learned the skills, <laughs> I was a spam like I'm with this, but just without and the blonde hair. Have, and I, I think, think Linda McNeil, <laughs> you know, we've, I know she coined the phrase spam like and absolutely love it. And as you said, you know, it's about being curious. And I love it because actually, you know, when I, looked, when I look at a lot of people's posts, people are definitely creating a lot of curiosity. We're showing the benefits of the lifestyle. We're showing the benefits of the product. And that's what we need to do, raising people's curiosity. And yes, it's okay if you want to do a direct sales post, people are doing it on their Facebook stories or their WhatsApp status. That's okay because that's like a separate entity. And you know, but on the particular on the profiles on the main pages, definitely, you know, and it's not, like, not like, just coming straight out of their spamming. Gary, Gary, Vaynerchuk on, wrote on. Book, uh, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk wrote this book called Jab, 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 Ride Hook. You know, so like in boxing, they, yeah. they do jab, 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 jab. And when the moment is right, they go with the right hook. Now, Bang. a lot of people come in network marketing and they just swinging the right hooks, you know, like they sales post, sales post, sales post. <laughs> and there's no value. There's no interest. There's no curiosity. So it's okay once in a while to put a blunt sales post, etc., And it will have a big effect if the last 16 posts where value posts that keep people, in, keep people interested and curious, right? So when you do that sales post, it stands out. It makes people curious. They go, oh, I want to buy one, right? But if, you know, it was the last 16 posts were sales posts, the 17th one might not do that well. 
Wow, absolutely awesome. So, guys, I know the time is coming up. Um, but for, if you want to stay on, let us know. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere, but we'll wrap it up for a lot of you. Yeah, I know absolutely. you've got other Zooms coming on. The kids are probably get, getting angry and hungry in the background. But just to recap very, very quickly, you, you are number one with your well-being, emotional well-being, eat, sleep, feel good, feel right about yourself before you can give value to anybody else. I want you to kill the hell out of personal development. Make yourself super, super strong. Suck in all the information that you can. Attend the Zooms, the training, read the books. You may not get this sort of time again. I hope we don't have this awful situation again. But while it's here, let's make use of the time. So you are personally, mindset is strong and your business is in a wonderful position in the weeks or months to come. Keep continue to create that curiosity. You know, let's not spam, but make it interesting. Show people the value and the benefits of the opportunity and the products in all your stories, your posts, and your lives. And most, 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 most important, be visible. Let me get us and everybody else see you. Be on the playing pitch. Be swinging the baseball. Be shooting the goals. Be on the pitch with Irina, with Ian and Barute, with um, Julita, with Megan, with Get Us, with all of us. Be on the pitch. I'm on the pitch. I keep shooting for the goal. Sometimes the ball ain't going in the net, but at least I keep shooting. But one day it will go in the net. And guess what? My ball's gone in the net many times. That's why I've got the Mercedes. That's why I qualify for the trips. So keep shooting. And that's what it's all about. Be on the pitch. And the most, most important, I think, if you're going to leave here with anything and get us touched on this many times, just be consistent. Don't just do it on Monday, but then come back and do it on Tuesday. Even if you can only manage one post a day, it's better than no post at all. Keep the engagement going because people join people who are consistent. You know, they join you to say, hey, let me join Get Us because I know I'm going to get the right support because he's there every day. But they may not join some, they may like someone else, but think, you know what, well, maybe I won't join them because they're kind of off and on. They come on Facebook, then we don't see them for a week, then they come back on. So just be super, super consistent. So guys, before we go, Get Us, I know we've got some good, good questions, some wonderful feedback. Um, let's just look at those very, very quickly in case we have anything that we can answer before people go. So if we just jump on there and see what comments we have. And before I even touch on now, I just want to give a shout out to Linda, to yourself, Get Us. Um, I'm going to run through very, very quickly. We've had Ian and Barute on here, Irina. We've had um, you know, Marilyn Beavis, Claire Nelson is on here as well. Just thank you guys so, so much. Alison Reed, Justina Hampton. This is why I love FM, man. The FM love is just buzzing. You know, people just come out in full support from different teams, but we all know each other as one family. This may be the conference. God forbid. I hope we have a conference this year, but this may be the conference. Who knows? But anyway, we're here, you know, showing the love. Red is here from Qatar. Thank you so much. I have Irina, Irina Cording, Ian Barute Cording is there. Irina Oliver is there as well. You know, so, so many people. Matilda, people from Trinidad are here as well. You know, Matilda Obeng from Ghana. The list goes on and we had more than 100 people on this call today. So thank you, Golden Eagle is there as well. Alex Starr is there. I mean, Coral is there, you know, so, so many people. So let's quickly go to the questions. So get us, what do we have on there? What can yeah, you say? I saw, I saw one question was, you know, how many people do we need to follow up with? You know, and the answer is, you know, how rich do you want to be? <laughs> the more the better, <laughs> That's a right? good answer. It's, it's like, um, and, it, and, it, and it actually touches on a very important uh, m mindset or mentality, you know, of people in yeah. business. You know, uh, sometimes people say, well, how many people do I need to recruit? You know, and how many products do I need to sell? Well, imagine a brain surgeon who studied for mm -hmm. 10 years in university, becomes a brain surgeon, starts operating on people, and he goes, well, how many of these operations do I need to do, right? Well, yes. you're going to be doing them for the rest of your life. You know, that's the career you chose, right? So network marketing is the same way. You know, too many people were sold the idea, recruit free, and you never have to do anything again, right? Like, that's not real, guys. <laughs> that's a myth of network marketing. Like, if you chose this profession, you will be doing this for the rest of your career, right? That, that just like, how many people do I need to follow up? All of them. <laughs> entire yeah, exactly planet, right? <laughs> the entire planet just keep going so we've had marilyn marilyn beavis on there just fantastic to be here with you guys she goes yes the last two weeks have been a shock but you know what has happened and we're well prepared um, um steph said she saw us in the uk training in feb in haydog absolutely amazing thank you so much And Logan, favorite word, consistency. Well done, get us. Um, Marilyn said to you, proud of you as well. People said we're very funny. That's great. We want to be entertaining. Um, <laughs> Fiona said great advice. And um, she's, um, that's how she's been feeling. She doesn't want to pester people. But hey, let, let's pester them with love and give them good value. Then they'll that really appreciate you. Kate Rankin just says she's absolutely loving this. And um, she was told she was never going to hit Pearl. 
I never hit a pack amaranth. Well, you know what? Consistency and patience is the key, 100%. Thank you so much. Um, people keep telling, Fiona saying, people keep telling it's not a real job. You know what? Use that to um, drive and, it and succeed. It, and it's not a real job. It's a business. No. So next time somebody tells you, hey, it's not a real job, say, thank God for that. I don't want a job. You know, I want to yeah. be an entrepreneur and work from home and, and make, you know, 10 times more money. You know, can you, you know, double, triple, quadruple your income in your job? Uh, probably you can't, right? So I'm so glad I haven't got a real job, right? Like uh, when, you know, when I, when I approach people about network marketing business, it, very often it's important to open their mind a bit and say things that a normal person would understand. Because if you come to a person mm -hmm. and you go, hey, we've got, you know, this amazing marketing plan, you know, and you can get passive income and you can get leverage and you know, like this is Chinese to most people who've never done a home-based business, right? Or invested in personal development, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, I always use three things. Uh, when I approach somebody about the business, I say, hey, look, you know, have you ever recommended a restaurant, a shop, a movie, uh, something to people? And they say, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I go, great. Well, how much money did you get paid on that? And they go, well, I didn't. Well, I go, imagine if you recommend somebody to go to Tesco's to do their food shopping and Tesco's rings you up and go, hey, because you recommended this person to shop for food, uh, we're going to pay you a percentage on their shopping. That would be nice, right? They go, well, yeah, well, that would be yeah. awesome. And I go, what if that person... Uh, from then on, every time that person shops in Tesco's for the rest of your life, you would get paid percentage on that. That would be even better, right? Because, well, yeah, that's incredible, right? And imagine if that person recommends other people to go to Tesco's and you get paid on all of those people uh, shopping too. That would be incredible, right? They go, yeah, yeah, terrific. And I go, well, th there's good news and bad news. Tesco's will never do that for you, right? They'll keep the money. You can keep recommending. They'll keep the money. Or you can join our business where in our business, that's exactly what happens. Every time I recommend somebody to join this business, I will get paid on their shopping for the rest of my life. And if they recommend other people, I'll get paid on those and so on, right? So, so my question for you is, would you like to get paid on recommending? The second thing mm -hmm. uh, I say, I say, look, how long have you been in your job? And a person says, well, well, five years now. I go, great. At the end of this month, how much will you be paid for the work you did five years ago? Now, usually that's like what Tony Robbins calls uh, breaking someone's state, right? So it's a bit like mm -hmm. a short circuit and they go, what what right like they don't understand the question right so i repeat it i go at the end of this month how much will you be paid for the work you did five years ago in your job and they think about it hard you know you see smoke start coming out of their ears and they go mm -hmm. uh nothing i go correct right you will pay mm -hmm. you'll get paid nothing right because at the end of this month you will only be paid for what you did in your job this month right but in our type of business, I joined 10 years ago, right? So I, I introduced some <laughs> friends into the business. They did some shopping, invited some other friends, and I got paid. Yes, the thing works, right? But then the next month, the same people did more shopping and invited even more people. And I got paid again. But now I didn't have to do anything because I did the work last month. And now 10 years later, at the end of this month, I will not get paid for what I did this month. I will again get paid for the work I did 10 years ago. Now, my question to you is, would you like to get paid for the work you did 10 years ago? Most people say, yes, I would, right? So go, well, the last third thing, I say, look, when I first started in home-based business and, and started investing in myself in personal development, I saw this quote from Warren Buffett, right? Warren Buffett is one of the richest people in the world, right? And he said, unless you find a way to make money in your sleep, you will work until you die. Now, I thought, surely I don't want to work until I die, but how can you make money in your sleep? Now, I did make some money in my sleep when I was working as a security guard, but I'm sure that's not what he meant, <laughs> right? So uh, in this type of business, that's exactly what happens, right? Because I wake up in the morning, guys, I go into my back office and I see, oh, new people join the business. Oh, new people placed orders. So I literally made money in my sleep. And that's a great feeling, you guys, right? So my question to you, would you like to start being paid in your sleep? Once I ask those three questions, a person becomes very open to see the video all of a sudden. They become very open to hear about it because I just used simple words that a normal person can understand, right? So that's what it's all about. It's just about opening somebody's mind and then pointing them to a tool uh, so they can learn about this amazing opportunity. I think that's just absolutely awesome, Gaddis. That's why I love this opportunity. I'm so, so glad I signed the dotted line 10 years ago. I've never known, I've never earned money passively. It's always been when I've actually clocked in or gone in for a shift or, you know, and I'm sure there's plenty of times I've nodded off 
on a night shift, not on purpose, but you know what? I'm so glad that I can just look because I started something many years ago. I'm not being paid for what I do now. I've been paid for doing what I did a few years ago for receiving the nose and just to find a way. That's why that's what I've done. And that's why the passive income is coming out. So I'm so, so glad I found network marketing or network marketing found me. So never lose that hope guys. You have an amazing opportunity in your hands. Keep working at it. Just be consistent, follow our lead, copy and do what we're doing. It's all about duplication and we'll get there in the end. Yes, exactly. it's challenging times, but you know what? through challenging times comes the greatest strength you will see your resolve you will see your resilience look how we've come together we've got people from all over the world here on this zoom over 100 people all supporting from different teams all supporting each other with the love and positivity get us thank you so much for your time thank you guys it's been absolutely it's amazing everyone. i've loved it i'd like to carry on you know what <laughs> i was on a zoom with clifton you would not believe we are, I was on a four hour Zoom, tuning down into bed, but I don't sleep there. Trust me, we're having so much fun, it was four hours, but Amazing. don't worry, we're not gonna keep you, we're not gonna keep you for four hours, but you know, we're gonna have more Zooms and lives coming on board. And really? um, if we, sorry if you didn't get to answer all the questions, you can message us on Facebook or Instagram, myself and Geddes were there. Any questions you want to get answered, do catch us there. Please share the love, spread this out, share the world. And I tell you what, we can all get through this together. And most importantly, we can help many, many people along the way, make the situation a little bit easier, a little mm -hmm. bit happier, and we can all come out of this a lot stronger. So before we go, in true FM fashion, for all you self-conscious people out there, if you've had, if you're feeling good right now, you enjoy the Zoom and you want to shake it off, I want you to give me the funny face, the cheer, the wave, whatever it is, <laughs> for the next 10 seconds of how you're going to feel when we get through this and you hit that next level or your team grows or you've had something positive happen in your life. For the next 10 seconds, lose that inhibition. I know some of you are a little bit shy. I'm shy too. For the next 10 <laughs> seconds, do whatever it is. Let's have it. Now, I'm going to count you. One, two, three. One, two. And give a cheer as well. I'll mute the mics. Yeah, that's what? Oh. The cheers. I'll mute the mics. Bayless, you got a banana. I'll mute the mics. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. I'm you muting mute? everybody. Yep, I'll mute the mics. Unmute. We're going to do Unmute. something really spontaneous. Mute this, okay? <laughs> One, two, three. Give them a normal cheer. <laughs> 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 Best free shot I've ever got. Okay. See you later, guys. Bye bye.